Hello and welcome back. So we should be able to create a school in here. So add no school. Uh, let me click over here and let's let's add a school. We're going to call this one. Uh, I don't know. You can name the school anything that you want. We have weird names here, so I'm just going to call it that and click create. Okay. So that was a uh, yeah that was a post request so what i want to do is go to the sign up um no not here let's go to the sign up controller and we just i just want this if statement there just too lazy to copy it so cop uh, to type it so copy it go to schools uh, add function and right about here, I'm just going to add the same thing, paste, close it there. Let me move the screws inside, like so. Something like we did with the other thing, with the sign up. Okay, so here we want as little code as possible. So the thing we want is, let me go to the same way we did with the sign up where we check for validation and then if everything goes well then we actually add the information it's the same process so i'm just going to copy all of this and come back to the schools thingy and paste it there like so okay so school we're just going to replace user with the school so let's copy that and replace with scoop like that so we'll add a date that's okay so we check the validate because it's there as well we'll add a date and then we'll try to insert and then we'll do a redirect not to the login page but this time to the schools page like so okay if there are any errors we're going to show them here so let me start by adding a few numbers here and cr click create and I get an error you see only letters allowed in school name okay pretty good let's add a space and put some letters here create only letters allowed maybe I should have just said without spaces right only letters allowed in school name without spaces so you can add that to your error message uh, that's entirely up to you so let me just add this one like this and if all goes well we should be able to add uh, what we want so create oh there we go so it says a known column user id in field list okay so instead of user id i used user url so to keep with the tradition of using an id like we did in the user uh, table let's change this to ID so click there and let's move this back to ID and hit save okay pretty good let's come back back document expired okay so let's add a name there and let's hit create boom so it seems like everything went well let's check in our database shall we let's go to the browse and as you can see, everything seems okay. How is the date though? What's going on here? Yeah, that doesn't look very much like a proper date. Let me go to this structure. Let's look at date. Okay, so date, the problem what we did is we added it as int. It was supposed to be date time. I don't know why I missed that, but let's change this to date time. So where are we? date time save oh and by the way remove the uh, let me hit change again apparently didn't change because of that limit and my computer is frozen okay there we go so let's change it back to date time let's remove the length here and let's hit save okay very good so we are in date time territory now Let's go back to our operations and truncate the table. So truncate to remove everything. And we are back to the browse. All right. So uh, 
back to the table let's see in here browse okay so it's empty there that's good now we can add create and let's create gonda school create there we go so let's check in the table click there and there we go so we have a nice date we have a nice user id oh actually the user id here sorry i we were supposed to add the user id of the person that's adding this so this was supposed to be the opposite of what we did with our uh, sign up model so user model here right let's go down to this part so this is the part right here so i'm going to copy all of this copy that the school id will be replaced this code will go to the id of the user so let's go to school this is the school model right inside models and let's go down here and this is make user id so we want to get the user id of the person that signed up at that point at that moment that's logged in that's what we want to add here so i'll paste this here and let me remove the duplicates and same thing here so instead of school id this is user id so user id will be equal to user id like so simple and straightforward okay so again we truncate our table let's come down here truncate make sure you're truncating the schools table back to browse okay and back here let's add new so one last time we should add this and create okay it's created let's come back here and refresh and there we go so we do have a valid user id it starts with gk3 now we need to confirm that this is the same user id as the currently uh, and actually that's true so back here to schools so we have a school id of our own the name of the school the date and the user id of who created it so let's see if we can show these things in our list so if i come back to uh the schools which is the index that's showing here we should see it because we have find all here so let's go to views schools.view.php so the reason we're not seeing anything is because in our uh loop we don't have any rows whatsoever so i just want to add a table row here and table data like this so we have table row and td like this for data so let's copy this row put it right here and i will put my uh, php equal sign like so close it like that and then here i will say school like this so then i will duplicate that boom so here we want created by and then duplicate date and then okay before we go get carried away here it's going to be user id underscore id and then over here it's going to be school date like this and then finally we want to add a few buttons here so i'll lower this a little bit and let's add a table data like so and here we'll add the edit button uh, so let me put button like this in the button here i just want to add an uh, icon here so I'll put class here the icon will be fa fa edit okay and duplicate this and this one will be trash for delete like so trash out like that uh yeah that should be it actually and also we need a class for these buttons so i will add a class this class will be btn btn small and then btn and then btn 
Mm, let's see here. Uh, danger, because we are deleting. And then this one will be, hmm, let's see, info, maybe, something like this. Let's see how those will look like. So if I refresh now, this is what I get. So I have this information here, and I have all this long thing. I have the date, I have that, and I have these two thingies here. So things aren't looking so great here at all. And that's because the normal table ends here. So I just want to remove this table uh, thingy. Let's see here. And if is right here. So I will move the table all the way down here. Yeah, the closing table tag. Push everything in like so. Okay, let's try again. Refresh. Okay, much better. Things are a little bit more organized. And we have our edit delete. This one, we need it to be white inside. So the info, I'll just say text white. Now, please keep in mind that if these classes don't work due to the version of your bootstrap, you can always just add some styles right here, some inline styles and whiten your text that way. So do not suffer. Okay, so add new, edit, delete, date, mm, created by, Gonda. Okay, so this is all good. Let's add one more school. Let's add this one will be um, Anoya. You can add the names that you want. Uh, yeah, simple names better. Create. There we go. So now I have two of these. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Okay, so in the next video, let's look at how to clean up this information so that it looks much, much better.